Neanderthals are interesting. We typically have pretty good evidence for the skull, for the hip region, for the lower limbs, but the, the chest, the rib cage and the spine is much harder to, to, to understand because those bones are much more fragile. So when you find a, a skeleton that's been well preserved, like Kabara II, it offers you this window that you don't get to know about that much. I'm, I'm never going to be able to test a, a Neanderthal, I don't think. Have them walk across my force plates or my treadmills, unfortunately. Um, but I can model them. I can create a virtual Neanderthal. What we did is a CT scan like you'd have at a hospital. We can see from the spine here, that lumbar curve that's in modern humans, it's virtually missing in Neanderthals. And it was like, that can't be right. I mean, that's, that was my initial reaction. You can see how the ribs, they come in. And in a modern human, this would be flat. If you can imagine this, you're taking the rib cage and wrapping it around the spine, pulling it back, making it easier to balance over your legs but still having this very large chest. At one point, we thought they were hunched over cavemen. Now I think we know the whole package is different. A modern human has a tremendous curve here. We thought that all hominins were going to have this lumbar curvature, at least to some extent. But what we found with Neanderthals is this shape here is straight. We didn't expect this. This is not what we thought. This is not what we drew in our heads, right? It's different. And we are just now beginning to understand like what questions we're going to be able to ask now.